This is a place where music fills the air as pervasively as the scent of Rocky Mountain Columbine. This is a place filled with activities that make men sound and whole. This is an outpost on the frontier of human potential, a lodestar to free spirits, a magnet to travelers who, having seen everything else, come to this place and discover themselves. This is Aspen, Colorado, in the Rocky Mountains of the southwestern United States. Aspen nourishes the mind, the body, and the soul. This classical idea of wholeness that has dozed in our minds for centuries has burst out here and set this place humming and vibrating and teeming with life. To find the emotion that you project into the puppet. Now some puppeteers use the little finger, but I don't think the little finger is strong enough. So if you're moving your head back and forth, there's the puppet head working back and forth, or back and forth this way. A lot of puppeteers make the mistake when he wants the puppet to talk, is going like this, for, okay? look here for the passive, the idle, the detached observer, the casual spectator. Everyone here, native and stranger alike, has plunged into the swirling currents of creativity. It was not always so in Aspen. The lure of this place was not always the mix of ideas and exuberance we find here now. People were called here by a harsher voice, the voice of silver. Aspen grew, prospered, glittered, and then one day, tarnished. Silver was not worth the mining. But today, Aspen gleams again. It required vision and foresight to see that a richer ore than silver could be mined here, the ore of creativity and human expression. Music brought Aspen new fame. The glittering reputation of its music school brought students from everywhere to this place where they could tune their instruments to the harmonies of nature. The aim is perfection, and the test is performance before a knowing and critical audience. 
Students and teachers alike meet this challenge again and again in a single summer as they take part in the heavy schedule of public concerts. Making music is a gift lavished only on the diligent. Nothing happens without hard work. The Aspen Music School nourishes the gifted by subjecting them to the strictest tutelage. The prize comes as master and pupil join in the same endeavor. Disciplining of the body and the mind, carried out to the ultimate degree of precision and refinement. That is the very essence of ballet. But one has to start somewhere. Some in this class may go on to become professional dancers. Others will find sufficient the enrichment of schooling with a master. ideas have replaced silver as the most valued currency. The Aspen Humanistic Institute is a marketplace of ideas.
teachers, philosophers, businessmen, people in public life take part in these seminars where ideas are weighed and assayed as scrupulously as precious metal. Once a proud neighbor, this deserted mining town reminds 20th century Aspen of its lusty past. But its shades find no rest here, so stirring are the cultural vibrations.
Seldom since the Renaissance has such a multitude of craftsmen and artisans tumbled together to make, show, and hawk their wares. Creativity seems to bloom in the Colorado sun as naturally as fleabane and wild daisies. The seeds of this flowering creativity have been strewn all across the United States. Everywhere in the land, the arts are blooming, adding color and sweetness to our daily lives. Thank you. 
Everybody hop along while we listen to this song. In Aspen, the revels never end. The shortening days bring a promise of snow and the invading legions of skiers. In their turn, the skiers melt away and Aspen welcomes the musicians, the artists, the dancers, the craftspeople, the poets, the scholars, the minds, the travelers, and all the rest who cannot resist the lure of this privileged place. <laughs> 